Hello and welcome to the Love by Libra channel. I'm Samantha and today I'm going to be answering some of the most common questions asked in relation to the Libra sensor. So stay with me if you're looking to get the most out of this medtech. I'm sure you'll hear and soon agree that the Libra sensor is a game changer. I've been using a Libra for over two years now and I can sum up my advice into three recommendations. Firstly, avoid making comparisons with fingerprint tests. Secondly, treat time in target as your best friend or die buddy as we say. And thirdly, avoid making comparisons with other Libra sensor users. So why doesn't my fingerprint test match my Libra scan? This is one of the most frequently discussed topics on Libra related forums. And there are three main reasons for why they don't match. One, a fingerprint test measures the blood glucose at a specific time, whereas the Libra is measuring interstitial fluid and it gives an average of the previous 10 minutes data. Two, as glucose takes longer to be absorbed into the interstitial fluid, there's a time lag of around 10 minutes. And three, there can be a variation of up to 20% between the two systems, which is an accepted level of accuracy. What should be my target? The consensus in the healthcare profession internationally is a standard based on readings of between 3.9 and 10 millimoles per litre. Keeping in this target range for 70% of the time roughly equates to a HbA1c of 7% or 53 millimoles per mole. And the recommendation is that less than 4% of your time should be below 4 millimoles per litre and less than 25% of your time above 10 millimoles per litre. What happens if I knock my sensor? You didn't realise how often you rubbed up against doorways until now. And you'll soon discover there are all manner of hazards for a Libra in everyday life. You may ask yourself, can I get a replacement? And yes, Abbott do replace sensors in some circumstances. Their details are listed in the description to this video. Will I have to go back to finger pricks? Yes, you may have to if you don't have a backup sensor, of course. But how can I protect my sensor in the future? We designed Libra bands to protect sensors in these circumstances and to transform the look of a medical device to a sports accessory. So why not take a look at our shop? How do I get the sensor to stay on? Good preparation is key to getting it to stick well. Your skin is the largest organ of the body and its condition changes all of the time. I recommend following our HELP approach. That is, hydrate. Ensure that you keep up your fluid intake. Exfoliate regularly to remove those dead skin cells. And use those two alcohol wipes that Abbott provide for a reason. Limit your use of perfume products such as sunscreens, moisturizers, or fancy shower gels. And then protect your sensor with a covering such as one of the Libra bands. What else can happen? If you see blood when you're applying the sensor, there's no need to panic. It's often said that bleeders are the best readers, but there's only anecdotal evidence that this is true. So long as the blood stops within a couple of minutes, there shouldn't be any problems, and you should still be able to scan to get readings. If you do have any concerns, then of course contact your doctor or healthcare team. Another thing is that if you can't understand why your graph is showing a low flat line, such as shown here inside the red circle, then it could be a compression load, and this is often caused from lying or pressing hard on the sensor, for example when you're sleeping. Something that may seem mentioned by other Libra sensor wearers is a unicorn. But what is this then? It's when you're in the target range for 100% of the time, generally within a 24 hour period. The final question that I'll be answering today is what is CGM? CGM stands for Continuous Glucose Monitoring and it's where readings are automatically updated every 5 minutes. There's no need to manually scan to get those readings. To do this with the Libra you need a third party transmitter. The most common of these are Meow Meow, Bubble and Bluecon Night Rider. They sit on top of or adjacent to the Libra sensor and connect to a smartphone via Bluetooth. There are alarms that you can set for highs and lows and of increasing importance to users 
is the ability to see glucose levels on a watch or other device such as an Alexa. However, the NHS will still need you to scan, usually eight times a day, so that they can see your results from LibreView. And finally, welcome to the Libra Club. Here are some final thoughts to help you get the most from your Libra. Don't beat yourself up if you don't achieve unicorns all the time, or at all ever. Don't expect a flat line of perfect control. And don't get disheartened by seeing what others are posting. There's more in our blog on the website. The links are posted below. Thanks for listening, and please do join us again soon.